Hi guys, welcome to section 2 of the course. In the previous section we imported data in various formats, which all had spatial or temporal information. In section we're going to start working with these data. In this first video we're going to look at the most important packages we're going to need to work with spatial data, and we're also going to see how to install them. Then we will look at additional sources where to find more information on spatial data analysis in R. Several packages are needed to follow the exercise in this course. We can find more information about these packages on the R archive, CRAN, in the task view related to spatial data. This web page presents a complete overview of all the most important packages for spatial data analysis available in R. You don't have to worry though because most important ones are very few. First we have the package rdgal which provides a way to access the famous geospatial data abstraction library created by Frank Warmerdam. Then we're going to install the package sp which is the one that provides spatial classes for the R language to deal with spatial data. Then we have the package raster which is a relatively new development. As the name suggests this package is specific for raster data. The beauty of this package is that it allows to import raster data without loading them in memory, which is fantastic for large datasets. Finally, we're going to install rgeos, which provides basic spatial data manipulation functions that allow us to basically use R as a GIS application. Installing R packages is extremely simple. We can just call the function install.packages. Here we need to provide the name of the package we want to install, within quotation marks. However, we can also submit a vector of strings where each represents a package and R will install them all. Once you see these lines, you know that each package was installed successfully. However, we want to check if the package can be loaded, and for doing so we can import them into the R function library. R being an open source software means that over the internet you can find lots of free material to learn more about spatial data analysis. These are just some of the numerous examples of highly curated didactic texts you can find with just a Google search. First of all, we have spatialanalyst.net. Here you can find lots of examples of code to perform various tests in R and other GIS software. And also you can find the book A Practical Guide to Geostatistical Mapping and it's available for free. Then we have a tutorial for using R as a GIS by Francisco Rodriguez Sanchez. Here you can find a lot of information on performing various analysis of spatial data and also the code that we use for analysis is also available. Then we have this PDF introduction to visualizing spatial data in R and as the title suggests this is more related to visualizing spatial data but this is again an important part of the analysis process so I suggest you read it because there is a lot of code and so it is easy to follow and very well written and it's a good way to learn R as a GIS. I would now like to introduce you to two new important forms where you can ask questions about your R SIG and your R code. First is R SIG Geo, where you can register and ask questions, and the group that works with spatial data will answer you. Another useful resource for R language learners is the Stack Overflow. Here also you can ask questions, and also this is not specific to spatial data analysis, and you can ask questions related to R. The community is very large, and you will get an answer very fast, mostly by experienced users. Finally, I want to introduce you to R Bloggers, which has posts and blogs from the R community. Basically, people add their own blog, and this site indexes them into a unique page. Then you can go there and look at the latest experiment and analysis done with R. Also, my blog is indexed in this column. In this video, we started looking at the packages we are going to use for spatial data analysis.